welcome back to my channel i am feeling um i don't my voice is still a little bit croaky but i am feeling better um i'm finally testing negative which is oh such a relief and um i've missed being here i've missed filming and and creating and everything so i'm back now and i will be back to my regular routine of uploading so yeah thank you all for your lovely messages they were so sweet and they really made me feel better because i was i really felt like i was at a lost end um not being able to to have the energy to sort of like come in my craft room and stuff like that and it was i'm just so glad to be back so thank you all for your lovely messages i really do appreciate it so today i have ordered myself some gasoline paper off of amazon i will link it down below for you um it's quite big because it's it's folded over so um let's take it out and have a quick look because i'm not sure on the thickness of it just get, put that in the bin oh so it's got the lovely gloss on it as you can see um and this wow um they are near just shy a little bit shy of a2 size sheets um a little bit of a damage here to a, to a piece of it but that's fine because i'm going to cut it up anyway so i want to do the um transparency test so i've got um a tim holtz paper pad here so we just find that will do oh in fact one's just fallen out so yes let's use that one um yeah it's quite thick it's it is thick uh, but you can uh, can you see through that um it, you you can see through it but i actually quite like um the thickness to be honest so i'm gonna fold it in half Right, so what I first off want to do is I want to stamp on it. Now, because it's got not too sure, so that still looks shiny, but it looks a lot more matte than that side. So I think I think I'm gonna stamp on this side. Um I mean it doesn't really matter because archival should be okay on this anyway. But I'm going to stamp. I'll try it both. I'll try both sides. So I am going to. So I've got a centric um, by Tim Holtz. So I'm going to use that. I'm pretty sure I've got some stamps missing. I need to sort my stamps out because I have quite a few Tim Holtz stamps here that I've I use all the time and I just chuck in this little box. So I need to put these back on their on their back in distress in black soot ago but i'm pretty sure it's it's not so juicy anymore and i don't know if they do reinkers i don't think they do reinkers for the um archival right so i'm going to put some music on and i am going to get stamping so first off before i get stamping i am going to put down some of my tim holtz media grip because she do be moving across my mat and I just want I just want a little bit of grip when I'm stamping so I'm just going to place that down and then hopefully oh see absolutely perfect all right go with the air bubbles out Right, now I'm going to start stamping.
right, so that's my glassine paper stamp. I'm gonna change the color. I wanna make it look vintage. I think I'm going to use the new Lost Shadow by Tim Holtz. Some vintage photo as well, but not oxide. Just distress in the ink pad and then in the spray with the Lost Shadow. Right, little experiment. Sorry if the lighting's changed. It's I've just turned on my, I've just turned on big lat because it's get, starting to get a little bit dark in here. So for the vintage photo, I'm going to use my small gel plate. Um, this is three by five. So just because I don't want. Um, I want a smush effect. I don't want it to um, sort of like drips with, so otherwise I would have used the spray, but I am going to go down my medium mat again, just so it doesn't crimple up. Right, and with my gel plate, I'm just going to smoosh some vintage photo and then a little bit of spritz just to get it activated. And then just going to Just smoosh it round. And then do it one more time. here there and that oh it feels perfect absolutely perfect right so I'm going to move my medium mat out of the way and what I want to do is still a little bit wet there So I'm just going to, right, let's measure first. So it is, right, so it's 10 inches by 9 inches. So what I'm going to do is, let's fold that over to five and a half. Where's my ruler gone? Because it's it's crumpling. So fold that over to five and a half. Get my bone folder. And then fold that over to five. So that it's just slightly overlapping. Wrong way round tone. And then what we want to do is, and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. while it still works it will probably probably stick so then we have a little bit of a 
pocket. And now what I want to do is I want to fold it over just like that and then I want to keep this side as a pocket and this side as a pocket but I want to sew round the edges and down the centre as well. So I'm going to go and do that and then I'll be back. So I have stitched all round the edges and I've done the same on this side as well. And then I've stitched down the middle as well. So we now have two pockets and ah, oh, I love that crimple sound. Oh, just love it. Absolutely love it. Right, so now what I want to do is, I'm not too sure if that's, no, I don't think that's going to be big enough. So I need to find my other punch. And then, in fact, I think I'm going to do both sides. Um... Yep, looks about right. And then pop the other side out. And now I am going to ink up the edges. So now, because it's still a bit, I need to put something on it to protect it. So, so I'm going to put over some distress glaze. So I've got my Christmas back, crispness back and it has another little bit of shine to it the oxide is no longer coming off on my hands which is perfect so now i'm going to decorate and fill it
I've gone through, um, what I want to do is I want to use up some of the stuff that I made last year. So I have my um, stickers on sticker paper and some of the embossing folders that I used. Also, the metal tags that I made as well. Um, I will put the video to the metal tags um, somewhere around here. And um, some of the other ephemera that I made. And I've just pulled the, my basket out where I tend to chuck all the bits that I don't use. And this is one of Tim Holt's Distress Edges. Um, and it's the doily and I love it. So I'm going to pull that out and use that. Um, have some of the old wood grain embossing folders. Um, I really like that as a little pocket. Um, so I might use that as well. It's one of the um, coin pockets out of the chapter three. So what else have I got in here? I've got some of the, the tags that I made. Some Tim Holtz backing. Some more tags another pocket with some tags in another pocket oh with the little clippy things on the side and some more chapter three stuff some tickets there's another one of those edges with the butterflies i'll keep that one out as well because i quite like that one but i don't know where i'm going to put it yet um ah oh, i like that i might stick that in somewhere um one of the Rolodex pieces. And I'm kind of... I, I don't know what I'm looking for, but I do know what I'm looking for, if that makes sense. Like I know when I see it that that's what I want. So uh, it's I'm kind of looking... I do love these resin papers. They turned out so gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. And I'll link the video for these as well. Um, yeah, really enjoyed making those. So, oh, there's a larger piece. Really beautiful papers. Um, no. I can't find... I want something for the... Let's sort out what we've got. So, coin pocket, coin pocket... Um, I did some stitching around the edge, but I've left a little gap here so that I can slide slide some bits in there. And I also have, here he is, him there as well. And I have a tiny little here tag. Is, and that is just going to stick in there as well and that will slide into the back pocket or actually do I want it to or um yeah I'm gonna put it in the pocket So just there and that's a little bit too large so if I along there and then along there just a tiny little bit more off the edge And slide that in um, I could stick it on there and have it as a as a bit of a flap I think I'll do that because I do want to use it and then up the sides And I don't want to cover the stitching. Just like 
like that. I'm going to pull it over a little bit actually because I want to use some washi tape. I think I'm going to use this one. Just so it's got a bit of extra help. Oh, it's folded over. I'm just going to stick that bit down there. All right, so I think I'm going to take out this big first class ticket, slide it in there along with the coin pocket as well but i'm not going to put that in there yet because the glue's not stuck um and oh i've lost my end there it is So that will help. And let's stick her in there as well. Make sure the little corners don't slide. And I don't know if I think I'm gonna. Fold that one in there. And that's there. And I want to use this. I think that's quite cool. But I don't know. Down there. Along the front. Hmm. Along the top. I want a little mini doll. Um, yeah. We use those two dish. Distinguished fellows. All right, let's, let's dress them up a bit, get rid of their white edges. of I wonder if that will lift up yep
the front inside pocket I'm going to leave that blank and then I, I could in fact take the journaling spot out and stick that over the top and just have that sliding in there in fact um, oh but I don't want to cover it up mm. da, 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 da. could I stick that there oh, I just I don't want to cover oh, it up. lemmas Mmm, I do like that though. For a little journaling spot. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that blank because I I honestly can't I can't make up my mind. So if I can't make up my mind, that means that I'm gonna do something that I am um I'm going to regret. So I'm just going to, that doesn't slide in there, so that can come out. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it. Right, that fits in there, so he can go in there. And then I have my little wheel in the back that's got the ephemera in the side tag. And yeah, and I think I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to leave that blank because that will be what goes into right. my journal. I am right so this is the journal that I have my art journal in the back um, and then I have two other traveling journals as well so I think I am going to ah oh, it's all falling out all chained up so that should have been on there, but never mind. Maybe I'll make a video of how I make my little dangles for my journals. So, yeah, that is my little pocket made out of gasoline paper. All filled and ready to go. So this is probably going to be a long one, but, you know, it's my first video back. So I am a little bit rusty so I need to get back into the swing of things. And I also can't find a lot of my stuff, which is a little bit worrying. Hmm. So I must have tidied before I got poorly. And I don't remember where I've put everything. So I'm going to have to have a rummage around. I might also do... Because um, my craft room is a mess. Serious mess. So if you want um, a come clean with me video and then, you know, I can give you a little tour of my craft room, um, then leave a comment down below. I'll be glad to do that. And I think over the year, this year, 2023, I am going to slowly fill these journals um, and what I want to do is I will also make videos of new stuff but I also want to make videos using the stuff that I made last year um, just to show you how it can be used plus I want to use it all I mean I have boxes oh throwing it at myself I have you know all these here oh there's a tag there i didn't see that there hiding from me i could have used it i have all my labels that i made i have all my pockets and everything um so yeah it's, it seems such a shame for them to go to waste so a better way to then to put them all in my journal so yep yeah, i'm going to be making some new bits and put this in there because i really like that and then it's in there. So I'm going to make some bits and fill in all the pages in my journal. But I do have quite a few journals. Um, I have, this is my junk journal. So I might also start putting, doing a bit of art journaling in that as well. Because um, I, I do love art journaling. It's just, it's such good therapy. So I have those. And I also have my... My little art journal that still has a few pages left in it as well that I made last year. Um, plus I have the two covers that I made as well. And then I have my popcorn wrapper journal as well. So 
I think I am going to spend some time and fill in all these journals that I have because I have a fair few. They're just a couple of the ones. So thank you to everybody for being here. Thank you everybody for your support while I was poorly. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you give this a go and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.